Hey guys, in this video, we are going to check whether the given number is prime or not. So what is a prime number? Any number that is divisible by itself and one, it's known as prime number. For example, 13. 13 can be divided by itself. So 13 into 1, it's going to be 13 and the remainder is 0. Similarly, we can divide this with the help of 1 as well. So 1 into 13, it's going to be 13 and the remainder is 0. Any other number is not divisible by 13. So of course, 13 is divisible by itself and 1. So it is a prime number. Let's take another example, 117. Here, we can divide this with the help of 1 and 117 itself. And apart from that, also, we can divide it with the 3. So 3, 3 is a 9. And remainder, we have 2. And then the 7, so 3, 9 is a 27. So it's going to 0, right? So this number is not a prime number because it can be divisible other than itself and the one as well. So let us see how to do the same using the programmatical way. So I'm going to create a function called s prime. And we'll just pass the n as an argument, that is the given number. And first we'll check if the n is lesser than 2, then we'll just simply return the given number is not a prime. So prime number starts from the 2 and lesser than 2 is not a prime number. After that, we'll just declare a loop and here I'm going to start the i value with the 2 and then it should be lesser than n and then simply we'll increment one value at a time. So i plus plus. Within the loop, we'll check if the n of mod is going to give us 0 with the i. That means we are checking each and every value from the 2 to the n minus 1 that is the given number minus 1 that is lesser than n and if it's going to be 0 that means it can be divisible by other than that 1 and itself then of course it's not a prime number so here we'll just return n is not a prime number Or else, we'll just simply say it's a prime number. Now, let's check the output. So, I'm just going to log this. And here we call our function name s prime and we'll pass 13 as an argument. So, 13 is a prime number. 9 is, of course, not a prime number. 117 is, of course, not a prime number and 17 is a prime number similarly um, maybe 29 yeah it's also a prime number okay so in this way we can find this prime number very easily let us understand what is happening within the loop so let's take n equal to 13 and here i'm going to check from the 2 right so 2 so that's what my i value initially so if i'm going to say 2 6 or 12 so the balance we have remainder we have 1 so of course it's not a 0 right then after that, we are going to check for the 3. So here it's going to be like um, 3, 4, sir. So 3, 4, sir, 12. And of course, we have balance 1, right? So this is also not a prime number. Similarly, it is going to check for each and every number. Let's say we have this um, 12. Okay. So here it's going to start from the 2. So 2, 6, sir, 12. And here we got the first time itself 0. So of course, in this case, it's going to return that it's not a prime number okay so i hope you got the idea now what is prime number and how we can solve that mathematical way as well as in programmatical way so thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon if you like the video consider giving a like and if you're new to the channel can you do the subscribe and hit the bell notification to get instant update from let code with kaushik see you in the next one very soon